Welcome back to Black Wall Unbound. Let's try this for yet another yet another time. God damn it. This is getting really annoying. Hopefully it works this time. I'm getting really disgusted with this headset. Alright. Let's call the New Yorker again. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? I guess it's worth yeah, a try. Him. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Come on. Right behind. Okay, let's do it. Head to the New Yorker. Yes? Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. Here we go. Alright. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, there's no harm in asking, certainly. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter, or...? Uh... No. An independent investigator. I see. So you're not with the police. Would it matter if I was? No, it wouldn't. So what can I do for you, Miss Black? There we go. Alright, let's, uh, ask him about Isaac Brown. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Yep. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots in one hour. You'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. Hmm. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps, and then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. Yeah, he's, he's not, not talking. talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not going to say any more. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're done here then. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. He didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? <laughs> Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I've written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, Enrich them, as you say. Why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell. Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. Hmm. Interesting. Well, thank I think you. That's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. All right. Let's get out of here. And head to Johnny Ivory's yet again. Uh, Cecil. What? Mention his sister, Isaac Brown's sister. I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You, that's it. You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, 
now you've done it. <laughs> Joey's enjoying this. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. Fine, I'm going. <laughs> you really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> Alright, switch to Joey and look at I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Yep. Let's talk to Cecil again. You just don't give up, do you? That's me. I'm like a bad penny. <laughs> you loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested. But you're never going to leave me alone, are you? Nope. No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste what happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. She couldn't sing anymore, which was her passion, so she just died. That's just sad. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. Okay. About Sarah. I told you, please. Okay, let's ask what about was Isaac. Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Uh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. <laughs> Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. Yeah, Joe knows all about being uh, hit with the sacks by Isaac. <laughs> you don't know who killed Isaac? Yeah, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that, but my heart won't listen. Mm. Well. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. I don't know. Cecil? What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. Yeah, was that. Just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... It's pretty. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think, I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. 
He was supposed to finish each show with her, and, well, in his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. I think I've recorded enough. Yes, you have. All right, let's head over. Head this way. Yep. Let's head to the promenade and finish this case for the upteenth time. All right. Ghost. Poor guy. I've been waiting for so long. No. No, Isaac. I'm not your sister. She couldn't come. No. No, she couldn't, could she? My sister's dead, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yep. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. I just love Joey's snarky comments. <laughs> Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it. Yeah, eternity, the white light, the passage into the next world. It is something, all right. I still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? Yeah. Says she wanted to help me. Big girls and jokes. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I join my sis. Just head into the light. Thanks, honey. You've been real kind. <laughs> Tell your friends sorry for the crap over here. <laughs> right. Another day, another spirit gone to their rest. Rest. Well, that's a nice word. Yes, it is. Hope I can finally rest after. Hopefully, this recorded correctly this time. Uh. Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. You. Did you. Did you save him? Yeah, yeah, sure, we saved him. Yeah. Joey? Is she talking to you? Yeah, go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Isaac told me he was killed by an old woman. Was that you? I save just like you. Who are you? I am the Countess. Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. I saved them. I helped them. I... I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. Don't just stand there. Let's get after her. Oh. Crazy lady. She's pretty spry for an old lady. Spry my foot? You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. <laughs> Don't start with me, okay? <laughs> oh, Lauren, she's gonna go sulk. All right, let's uh, save here. Save. Uh, save with uh, that. I hope this works this time. Well, anyway, like I said, if it works, uh, stay tuned for more Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments. And stay tuned for more Blackwell Unbound. But for now, bye-bye.